Hey there guys, Sox here at Game Tam, bringing you guys a quick tutorial on how to uh, put text behind objects in Photoshop uh, CS6. Um, a quick example I'm going to be showing you guys is this that I just I just uh, redid this thumbnail from an older video um, before I was doing any sort of Photoshop. And as you can see, um, we have the main focal point here, which is not like overwhelming anything but it also sticks out and I think together with the text it just really looks good um, that's just my opinion obviously you could look like garbage but uh, without further ado we're going to get into the video uh, I am going to be using obviously Photoshop um, to find yourself an image that, uh, just off of Google um, this is going to be the image that I'm going to be using uh, my vocal point right here obviously being this lamp post it's obviously the most like defined thing in this scene um, but what you're going to do is you're going to go right here and click on your pen tool uh, make sure that is selected um, just by like right clicking on it but then you're going to go over here to your oops you're going to go right here and I usually do control plus you could do minus to zoom out but just so you can get a little bit of a closer inspect on it and what you're going to do is you're going to outline your um, image yourself uh, and it's pretty self-explanatory like you just click right here and then click right here and then just keep going it is not to be perfect by any means but uh, do try to be as detailed as possible because it'll make it look even better um, but without further ado I hope you enjoy the time-lapse of me outlining uh, this lamppost <laughs> And right as you get to the very end, as you can see right here, you're going to get this little dot next to your thing instead of just a normal pen. You're going to click on that, and then it's going to have your entire thing outlined. Uh, Alt, oops, uh, Control, minus, minus, and we are back to our original thing. We are going to right click inside of it, and we are going to do um, Make Selection, and we are going to click OK, and then we are going to have this. Um, things selected for us right here and sometimes uh, real quickly uh, you could sometimes define um, where is it define your custom shape um, and you can name it what you want um, we're gonna call it um, lamp Oops. real quickly and we're also then we're gonna go ahead click make selection uh, keep this selected as is this is default but that's just what I always use is now completely outlined. We are going to then click um, Control and X. It's going to remove it real quickly. Then we're going to click Control, Shift, and V. And then bam, this is a new layer for us. We're going to go right here real quickly. And we are going to click uh, on the drop shadow. We want to add some sort of shadow to it. The distance, I mean, it just looks weird like that. So I turn to zero. Uh, spread you could pretty much whatever looks best in your eyes um, I usually prefer just to keep it at about a little over 50 call it 60 size I mean it's up to you it can obviously look a bit weird if you make it massive but uh, we're gonna go at like that for now we are then gonna go to the stroke and this is not for everybody um, I do this sometimes uh, you this is where you add like a outline to your shape um, For this I usually don't go anymore about seven pixels uh, Color it can always be whatever you want you can make it red for all I care um, But I usually make mine just completely white uh, For this I'm just probably not going to go ahead and do it um, But you could always go right here and kind of make it 
look a bit more like it blends in. But for this, I'm not going to make a stroke, uh, but that is usually a pretty vital part. And it, you could obviously change things up uh, a tad, but I'll just keep all these at default for now. Uh, now that we have that, you're gonna click T on your uh, board, or you're going to go to the little text box. And right here, we are going to do, um, let's just do, uh, oh yeah, and always do caps, by the way. Make, oh yeah, we should probably drag it all the way over here. Make, oh, oops, <laughs> I almost just messed that up. You're gonna go to the background, and then you're going to want to go ahead and add your text. Uh, and it's going to do, um, make text behind objects. Oh, oops, I just misspelled that. Objects. Um, we are now going to go right here, and bam, it goes right behind it. Uh, we obviously want to change this up a bit. We'll find a bit of a better fitting um, uh, font for this. Um, sometimes you don't need anything uh, too fancy for some things like this. We'll go ahead and just do like this. Um, then we're going to go ahead and change the color. We could take a nice... Yeah, that really blends in. I definitely suggest very often you should take a little color out of your scene. Because in just my opinion, it could just make the biggest difference in making it blend in. So it feeling better. Uh, we could make the size probably... Call it, we'll call it 175. There we go. Alright. And then we're going to kind of drag it around to where it's kind of in the center. Um, call it like right here. And then on text, we are going to want to double click on this. And this is where we could also add certain things to it. Um, you could add a drop shadow if you want. Again, I would just suggest um, not making it go very far. Uh, the spread, uh, you could make, you can make it just a bit more defined. Uh, the size, um, I mean, it could get a bit odd. So I would definitely just suggest making it just kind of on the text a bit smaller. Um, then we're going to go to the, um, you could always... Uh, change the style if you want. I would not get too much into that, but it could really make a huge difference if you're more professional about it. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the stroke. Uh, we're going to add this. This is going to be our outer layer once again. We're going to change this to uh, God. We will actually change it to. I uh, will call it yellow. This sort of yellow to make it a bit more toned on the edges. Um, Call it like that. Or we could actually try out black. How would that look? That makes it look a bit sharper, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. And, um, I guess we should probably, uh, just backspace this and turn caps locks on. Uh, caps lock on. Make, um, text, um, behind objects. Uh, I just feel caps just always makes these things look a bit better, but just kind of like that, it is in the most basic of manners how you should do that. Um, obviously make sure you sh can still read what it's saying. Um, we could always, we could always add how to, yeah we should probably add how to. Um, we are going to highlight all of that and drop it to... 140. Bam, perfect. Uh, and that allows us to kind of make it a bit easier uh, for us to uh, call it right there. Well, I hope you guys did find this useful when you are done uh, editing this. Obviously, you, just, you could save it, but I used to just go and go to save for web and then I save and we go to the desktop and we'll save it as our thumbnail. Oh, still have it in caps, it's whatever. Um, we're gonna click save and we are done with that. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and you found it helpful. If you did, please, it really does help. If you like, 
comment and subscribe and share this with your friends but uh, without further ado I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one